with some really funny photos of the Spice Girls. And we did a performance at Virgin Records. We literally just signed and we had like lots of industry people in the room and we were very badly behaved as the Spice Girls always are. And I think that was my very first memory of performing as Forty Spice. The last person I called is my mum. I have to say, through lockdown, I think everyone's felt the same. Reaching out to my friends, loved ones, family has been more important. I've definitely found the time to do that more. I needed to do that more. So yeah, so mum's a bit on speed dial at the moment. The first record I remember saving up to buy and going down to Woolies was The Kids From Fame. I bought the vinyl of The Kids From Fame. It was an amazing record. I think I got, need to go home and download that tonight. The last argument I had was with my daughter. And this is a daily argument and it's trying to get her out of bed. And I'm quite happy that winter's coming and she's, it's getting cold because I found the old removing of the quilt is um, on the duvet is uh, very effective in getting an 11 year old out of winter school. The first book I remember reading, I've never actually been much of a reader. I think I was always so active as a kid, I was either dancing or doing sports and stuff. But as I've got older, I do love a book. And one of my favourite books I've ever read was an autobiography on Dusty Springfield. The last meal I ate in a restaurant was a few weeks back. I was in Berlin. I was lucky enough to be working in Berlin. And I had steak and some really nice little roast potatoes. And it was really good. The first thing I'm gonna do after lockdown lifts. Now, last time around, it was a mad dash to the hairdressers. So that's probably gonna be up there with the trip to the gym. The last drama series that I am like totally getting into is The Undoing on Sky Atlantic with Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. Um, it's gripping, I recommend it. The first time I fell in love. The first poster I had on my wall as a kid was Adult Land and I think I had quite a, a big crush on it. The last thing I'd like to say today is I want to send you all lots of love and support. It's such a rubbish year and we are all feeling it, but we are here together, so let's try and support each other as much as we can. Thank you for watching.